Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the WCPO High School Insider Podcast. Joining you today from Mancuso Field at Jake Sweeney Automotive Stadium here on the campus of Princeton High School for our WCPO 9 Game of the Week. 5-4 and four Sycamore taking on 9-0 and oh Princeton here on Friday night. Uh, Princeton has an opportunity to clinch the GMC title outright for the first time since 1993 and also garner a 10-0 record for the first time since 1991. But a little bit more about that game later on in this episode. How about our WCPO 9 Week 9 Game of the Week as Indian Hill upset Wyoming 21-3 there at Bernie Berry Field at Bob Lewis Stadium as uh, the Braves snapped the Cowboys 75 game regular season win streak and uh, Indian Hill certainly uh, improved its standings there in the Division 4 Region 16 computer point standings. Uh, ironically enough, it's Indian Hill and Wyoming 4 and 5 as we begin week 10, but uh, these two teams could certainly meet each other again. Uh, and uh, we saw why uh, Indian Hill is certainly turning things around there in year two of head coach John Rodenberg. Before I talk a little bit more about week 10, how about this WCPO High School Insider Podcast is presented by Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Chick-fil-A Restaurants, where the winning play is always chicken. Well, Week 10 always brings plenty of anticipation, not only concluding the regular season, but also looking ahead to those first-round playoff matchups. Obviously, the Ohio High School football playoffs starting on October 27th. Indiana actually starts this week with its postseason. But our WCPO 9 Game of the Week GMC Battle Princeton and Sycamore. The Vikings have won four consecutive games over the Aviators, but uh, this Princeton team is clicking on all cylinders right now. Uh, number two in the Division I Region 4 computer point standings. And uh, let's get the, this key to success this season. Uh, I'll head down to the field and talk to head coach Andre Parker and a few of his players. Obviously, uh, our game of the week here, Sycamore at Princeton Friday night. And uh, I guess what is the message to the Vikings as you prepare for week 10 here? Uh, finish. Finish. Really good team coming in. Really good coaching staff. Uh, really familiar with them. They're familiar with us. We expect it to be a heck of a ball game. What do you think the keys to victory will be on Friday? Uh, taking care of the football, playing penalty free, smart, hard football. Did you expect to be 9 0 heading into week 10? I would like to say so. Uh, no, we felt like we had a chance to be good. Uh, we felt like we needed some things to go our way. Uh, we need to stay healthy. Uh, we were pretty beat up in the middle of the season. We're starting to get healthy again, starting to get some guys back. Uh, so I think we're projecting in the right direction. Uh, we're pretty young. Uh, we got a good balance, but we're playing a lot of young guys. Uh, so they had to grow up in a hurry. They, they've done that. They've done everything we asked them to do. And the seniors have done a great job of leading us. So, and, and the coaches have done a really, really good job. I think I really, really like my staff. I think we got a great staff. What's the camaraderie like, whether it be in the locker room or, you know, off the field? Can you talk about that a little bit? So this is the thing. They like to be around each other. Um, and I've been doing it a long time, and sometimes that's not always the case. Um, and this team is not real cliquish. Um, they, they like to be around each other. They hang around at my house. They hang around outside of school. Um, so that, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Um, they're really, really one. Um, they don't really care about who scores the touchdown or who gets the balls. I haven't had to have that conversation. Um, everybody's just kind of played their role and done their job. What's How rewarding is that as a coach to know you have that chemistry, but you also have guys that love the game too? I think that is refreshing. Um, you know, we were talking as a staff, they're fun to be around. Um, and we've got a good relationship where the coaches can joke with them and they can joke with us. And uh, so I think they understand the expectations. What makes this team set up for postseason success in your mind? I think some of the challenges that we've gone through, some of the injuries that we've had, is they've created, we've had to create some depth. Um, and it's not one guy, you know, it's a, it's a, so defensively, it's a whole defensive effort. Um, and you can't really key one guy. Um, we've created depth throughout our injuries. And offensively, the same thing. It's not really one guy. Um, it may be one guy this week, somebody different next week. Um, so I think that that projects for us to do pretty well. How do you simulate that? I mean, how do you get that quote unquote buy in? I mean, I know it's year three for you. I, that's um, not something that comes easily. I think that comes that's natural. I think you got to have good people. I think uh, when you have good people and unselfish people, those are the ingredients that you need. And you can accomplish anything with good people that want to work hard and don't care about other things. They just care about the results. Yeah. What's the leadership been like from your senior class? They've been very unselfish. I think Kevin Jordan has had as good as a season as anybody. 
Um, he doesn't get a lot of the limelight, probably should get a lot more attention, um, but he's been steady Eddie. Um, he doesn't make mistakes and uh, he's been, he shows up every day ready to work. And I think Jordan has been a guy who, unbelievable student. Um, he's played both ways. He's probably, probably play, must play three ways because he plays on special teams too. Um, he does it all. He's made some good, good grabs. He's had some good interceptions. Um, so I think for him, He's been a kid that the last two years he's kind of waited, 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 and we knew, hey, he's got a lot of talent, and I think this year he's just, just put it all together for us. People know about the tradition of Princeton football, obviously, around the city, and yeah. you know it very well, obviously, too. Uh, what would a GMC title outright mean for this program? I think it would mean the world to this program. Um, I think those are some of the goals we set out, um, and we're one step away from reaching one of our goals. Um, and the kids are aware of it. Um, we're focused on the task at hand, so, yeah. What's the community support been like around this been, season? Um, been fun, uh, been fun. Uh, a lot of people, you know, throwing out numbers. This was the last time this happened. This was the last time that happened. Uh, this team will be compared to this team. So, you know, that, that, that's always fun. And when, when that happens, that lets you know you're doing your job and you're projecting the right area, but we're just focused on Sycamore. Yeah. Appreciate your time, Coach. All the best to you. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm Kevin Jordan, class of 2024. Great. Tell us a little bit about uh, your season now for Princeton. Undefeated right now, what do you like most about the team? Uh, what I like most about the team, uh, we have great chemistry. I feel like we're doing really good. Uh, we have a lot of starters that came back from last year. So coming into the season, I feel like we were doing do great, make a big push. Um, we also have some new pieces that came over here that helped a lot with our season. Uh, with our quarterback, uh, D'Lo, class 26, uh, he helped a lot coming in making a big role. Also with our defense. Uh, last year we had a great defense. This year we were even better. Had some pieces come up, had some pieces play better and step up this year. How do you think you've improved personally just from a year ago? I, I improved a lot. Uh, last year I was playing a little bit. I didn't play a lot, but I played a little bit. But this year I think I uh, stepped into a big role as a starting safety. I helped the defense tackle, make calls, just make sure everything's okay back there. Kevin, I mean, let's be honest, did you guys expect to be 9-0 heading into week 10? Going into uh, the season, did you expect to be 9-0? I did, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I felt like coming to the season, we were one of the best teams in the state. I feel like we had, uh, we, the way we were just working, we worked hard all summer for this. We knew what we could be. We knew what our goal was. Our goal was to win the GMC and win a state championship. And we're really close to it. So we're going to keep improving and playing good. I know it's only Monday, and you got a few days here before Friday night, but uh, what's Coach Parker, maybe the coaching staff, emphasizing to the team as you get prepared for this regular season finale? Uh, history. We're making history. Uh, this game right here solidifies the GMC 10-0. We haven't did that in a long time here. It's been a very long time, especially an undefeated GMC title. So just history, one game at a time, and just work hard so we can be GMC champs. What would that mean to you and your teammates to be? It GMC would, champs outright like that. It would mean a lot because uh, we've been working hard. We've been wanting this since the beginning of the season. Last year, we couldn't, we didn't get it last year. We were close, but we weren't good enough. The year before, we were close, we didn't get it. But this year, we really have a chance to win that by this last game. So we're working hard. This means a lot to us. So we're going to work hard, do what we need to do, and get the W. Kevin, obviously, everybody's eyeing the playoffs. I mean, what, in your mind, what makes this team set up to have really a deep postseason run? The, uh, just our hard work, dedication. Uh, we work hard every day at practice, weight room, even when we don't feel like working. Some days we're struggling, we hurting, we still get here, we do what we need to do. Also, our chemistry. We don't argue a lot, we work hard with each other, we uh, cheer each other on, we uh, tell when we mess up, we tell them we do good. We just a good team, we have great chemistry with each other. Tell me about the support from the school community, maybe just outside the school, what's it been like this year? Uh, our support been really good. Uh, we have had a lot of fans cheer us on. A lot of our uh, students from the school come out, cheer us on. It's just been a lot of uh, hype and a lot of support for us, knowing that we can make history this year with uh, our team. So. How does that give you energy when you come out here on a Friday night? What's that like? It gives me a lot of energy. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of this uh, team that can make history. You know, uh, it helps us play better to me. It motivates us to know that we actually have like a really good chance to do this and win state and win the GMC. So it's just great. Kevin, really appreciate it. Best of luck to you. Thank you. My name is Jordan Houston, 
class of 2024. Jordan, tell me a little bit about uh, the season and the uh, same thing I asked uh, Kevin. What, what do you like most about the team heading into week 10? Uh, I think I like most about the team is our, uh, when you're doing the same thing when no one else is watching. Right, they call it. But yeah, we just we just work hard, come out here every day, practice, have fun, you know, win games. That's the most important thing. Can you illustrate that work ethic? Maybe uh, take me back to the spring, the summer. I take me back to the summer. Uh, waking up at seven o'clock in the morning every day, coming here, lifting, then coming outside to run. Uh, we couldn't use a ball most of the summer because the rules, I guess, with OSHA. And then once we got the ball, we was able to get the plays in, go against the defense more, and do stuff like that. And then we was able to, you know, just keep kept going and going. You know. Did you have a sense that this would be a special season? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, our class since freshman year, we've been doing stuff greatly. Uh, freshman year, we went six and zero because we couldn't have our games because of COVID year. Uh, and then right now, we six, not we, yeah, we nine and zero. And you know, it's the same thing as freshman year. We all playing together, having fun. You know. What is it about? Coach Parker, this is his third year here. I mean, I know he's been building something. Obviously, he had a great season last year, but is there something different this year you notice with Coach, maybe how he's helping you guys, or maybe you're helping the coaching staff as well? Uh, I think we just, not saying like last class, they didn't want to win as much as we do, but I think we just, we got fire under our feet, I guess you could say. And he's helping us with that, making us come out here every day, work hard, stuff like that. You talk about the offense. What's clicking so well for the offense? Offense? I think uh, the play calling. We able to run, throw the ball, anything, and nobody can stop it right now. How versatile are you on the field? You mentioned you're, you play uh, DB uh, and you're a punter as well. Yeah. Uh, I say I'm very versatile. Uh, play all the positions you want me to play. I'll be on the line if you, if you let me, but yeah. I'm assuming the coaching staff wouldn't want that though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they do got me in a... Uh, in a formation where I'm on the line, but we ain't we ain't do that yet. So, what has Princeton football meant to your life? Would you say, Jordan? Meant to my life. Well, I mean, I only played four years, so it means a lot because this is my favorite sport. Love to do this. I also run track, uh, do the hurdles and stuff. Went to went to uh, regionals, yeah, regionals. But you know, couldn't make out of that. You know, people around the city know about the tradition of Princeton football, mm -hmm. obviously. And, uh, and what's that like to wear the jersey, to know the community is supporting you, and to have this special season like this? How does that feel to you? It means a lot because people coming back, seeing us win games. Uh, we're going to go 10 and 0, hopefully, on Friday, do something we haven't done in many, many years. And then, you know, it's going to be the key against Sycamore, would you say, Friday night? Uh, maybe the, the run game, maybe. You know, that's been working a lot right now. And How much are you looking forward to the playoffs? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I want to go all the way. All the way, like we've been, we've been talking about that since last year, because we know we, this class will do it. Appreciate it, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. Thanks Thank for your you. time. How you doing? My name is Antonio Hunter, uh, class of 25. My position is a punt return, kick return, slide receiver, and outside. Antonio, tell me a little bit about this team and uh, nine and zero heading into Week Ten. Opportunity to win the GMC title outright. Yes, sir. Uh, how significant is that? That's, I think that's a good thing. We're a young team, so we're going we gonna to build on for the next three, four years, just keep going, keep winning GMC titles, but we're really just trying to get to that state title for real. Coach mentioned it's been a collective effort. It's not just one guy in particular. Nah. And can you talk about just what that's like to play on a team where everybody's focused and on the same page? I mean, practice, we may goof around, but the coaches get that in check. But everybody on this team is very selfless, and we work together real hard in practice and in games. Did you have a sense this summer this could be a special team this year? Oh, yes, sir. In what ways did you see that, maybe? I knew it when 707s. People doubted us because we was maybe down, but like we stayed strong, worked hard in the weight room. Nobody was lifting like us. We ate. We got the best coaching staff in the GMC and maybe the state, so I knew we was going to go for it off that. What's that? Coach mentioned uh, you, a lot of you and your teammates are over at his house, and, and you know, it's, it's just like a good <laughs> rapport with the coaches. Uh, yeah. What's that like for you to? To, to have that relationship with the, with the coaching staff like that? I think having a relationship with the coaches, it brings the team together. Like The coaches have us over there every Thursday to watch film, pizza, drinks, and then we hang outside. Like This is all my boys, so we hang outside of the coaches and not outside of football anyways. How much fun have you had this year? A lot. It's actually fun winning. Like <laughs> I hate losing. 
What's it been like in the stands and people around the community supporting your team this year? What's that been like? Uh, I mean, they wasn't with us from the start, but we accept latecomers anyway. So, I mean, I guess that's cool. But our game's starting to get a little bit more packed on and on as the season go on. You tell me about the energy to come out here on the field and, you know, play in front of the home crowd, knowing you guys yeah. are undefeated and everybody's got you in the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, everybody, like, when we come out, it's very loud. Like, from the last, when I was a freshman, it wasn't that, like, nobody was cheering for us and stuff like that. Now, I guess it's a new environment. That's cool, and uh, but I don't know. What are you doing so well in the field this season? Uh, I got a couple, I mean, I'm doing all right in the field, like, I'm just doing my job. As long as my team doing good, that's how that really matter. What would a GMC title, a 10-0 regular season, what would that mean to you personally? I mean, it would mean a lot, but I'm really trying to win state. Like, it's just game on and game on after that. You get that sense maybe from your teammates? It's like, okay, we're not going to be satisfied even if we Yeah, win everybody like that. How special has it been just to wear that Princeton football uniform? Everybody knows about the tradition of Princeton football. Right. Does it get, take a little extra meaning when you're undefeated and, and, and succeeding the way you guys are doing? Yeah, coming from like a winning team and back in the day, I guess it's good to bring it back in the 2023 and make history again. What's your family and friends been saying about the season? Uh, they just have telling me to work harder. Like they just keep telling me to work harder. It, it ain't over. Job not done. Great. So I appreciate your time. Appreciate Thank you too. Thank you. Well, obviously year three for Coach Parker, and uh, you know they're keeping things even keel, as you heard right there. Uh, keeping the Vikings uh, focused and ready to go, not only for this Friday night, but the postseason ahead. Uh, certainly as a team that can make a deep run in Region 4. Well, they're facing a Sycamore team that is number nine in the Region 4 standings, trying to host that first round playoff game. Remember, the top eight in each of the seven divisions uh, will host a first round playoff game. But uh, Aviators had a heartbreaking loss, 28 to 21 over visiting Hamilton last week. Uh, Sycamore went ahead with just 19 seconds to go and a touchdown pass. Uh, but uh, Hamilton's junior Jalen Gibbons had a 90-yard kickoff return on the ensuing kickoff with just three seconds to go as the Big Blue uh, defeated Sycamore in that game. So uh, Coach Scott Dottillo, he uh, defeated Princeton. He and his squad defeated Princeton back in 2019. And certainly uh, Dottillo has been around long enough that uh, uh, he has a game plan and will be ready for Friday night. If it's enough to, to defeat Princeton here at home, it remains to be seen, but uh, certainly should be a great battle as uh, we get ready to conclude the GMC regular season. Well, a lot of other games uh, for Week 10, as you might imagine here. How about 5-4 and four, Elder going to Lancer Stadium, taking on 4-5 and five, LaSalle. Elder number 7 in Region 4, while LaSalle is number 12 in Region 8. Uh, Elder has won the past two meetings against the Lancers. Let's head over to the ECC where 8-1 and one Anderson, their number one seed right now in uh, Region 8. They traveled to Kings. Uh, Anderson uh, has uh, lost four consecutive games to the Knights uh, going back uh, a few years. But um, uh, this is an Anderson team that is really playing well right now offensively. Uh, we saw them, uh, you know, obviously against Winton Woods a couple weeks ago in our game of the week. And uh, they got things rolling right now on both sides of the ball. Coach Evan Dreyer uh, always has his team ready for the postseason, but they want to take care of business on Friday night there at Kings. How about the GMC? We talked about Hamilton a little bit earlier. They are 7-2. and two. They're going to host 7-2 and two Lakota West. Both teams tied for fourth in Region 4. Uh, this game could be a share for the GMC title. Remember, if Princeton loses, the winner of Lakota West and Hamilton will share that GMC title with the Vikings. Uh, but Lakota West has won four consecutive games over the Big Blue, and uh, Lakota West hasn't lost to Hamilton since week 10 of 2017. I also want to make a mention, Milford, who's the number one seed in Division I Region 4, uh, they have an opportunity for a 10-0 record for the first time in program history. Now, they have to take care of business against visiting Turpin this week, but the Eagles could be 10-0 for the first time ever, and that Milford program dates back to 1909, believe it or not. So, uh, Coach Tom Grippa, we highlighted his program a few weeks ago. Uh, they are certainly doing really well out there. Uh, in the ECC and uh, could be that number one seed, as we mentioned, uh, heading into October 27th. Hey, make sure you check out uh, my story on WCPO.com. The state track and field tournament is moving from Columbus to Dayton next spring. The OHSA made that announcement on Monday morning as uh, Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium there on the campus of Ohio State University is being renovated. So the uh, tournament will 
moved to Dayton's Welcome Stadium for just one year. So obviously very uh, close in proximity for all the schools in Southwest Ohio. Make sure you subscribe to this WCPO High School Insider podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, we'll talk to you next week as we begin the postseason.